What's going on, Sneaker Fam? It's your boy Jake. Back early in the morning, 1.30 in the morning, uh, doing this real versus fake video, man. I got caught up watching basketball. Uh, my team's on the West Coast, playing ball on the West Coast. Um, and uh, they lost. They lost against the Warriors, Miami Heat. Um, but, you know, without further ado, man, let's get on with this video, man. It's the Air Jordan 4 Top Haze, Taupe Haze. I'm sorry, Taupe Haze Part 2. So it's be an updated version from the last one I had. So let's get on with it. Here we go. Of course, as always, box size is different. Um, they they're closer in you know in color now. Um, here goes the label. Two hundred bucks. Two hundred bucks. The QR. So retail is at the bottom is at the top you guys will go see you know you pause it and see the differences between the two of course all right of course red jump man in the flight fake has the same thing you have the speckled paper same speckled paper these are the fakes right here all right so let's take a look at the shoes, that's the most important part, is the shoes, okay? I told you guys, it's gonna be like a Jordan 4 type of week, man. And my question is, are the Jordan 4 slowly becoming as popular as the Jordan 1? I think the Jordan, the Jordan 4 is taking the spot of the Jordan 1, but things might change when the lost and found Chicago's come out. All right. All right, so, let's see what's up here, man. My last one was like the first version. So, you know, I got this one here, and this one might be a bit better. Um. This one might be a bit better. You can completely see the differences. Um, this one's bigger. Uh, straight up. Straight up, you can see the color tones are different. Um, wow. So let's see what's going on. You can see the caging. Caging's different. Hmm, interesting. Even the gray here, the grays are different. And of course, always the toe. And it's just, just looking there, the toes are different. So now, let's take a look at the front. I think this is a tough shoe to replicate, to be honest with you. I mean, that's what it took so many times, like when I tried the first time to get it, they just told me, no, don't do it. You know, don't buy it yet. The, show, the shoe isn't good enough. And I think this is the best that they'll be able to get um, right here. Um, you can look at the openings. Openings are completely different. Different brown, different shade of brown. The material feels good on the fake. Feels like a nice suede. Transitional suede. Take a look at the leather cut. Take a look at the Jumpman tag with the flight. I mean, they did a good job trying to replicate it as best as they could. Take a look at the back. From all of them. Not too bad. I should have done a standalone shoe, a standalone review with just the shoe alone. It would probably give the shoe more justice. Um, but once you know any of these replicated shoes get compared um, to the original, um, it, it's going to be really, really, really tough. But all in all, I mean, as a standalone shoe, I think I think the top haze right now, top haze. I'm sorry, 
to, so used to saying top pays, but top pays is, I think somewhere lingering around the four hundred dollar range, four hundred plus dollar range. But I'm asked for legit checking purposes. I feel it shouldn't be a problem. I definitely now. Is this wearable as a standalone shoe? I say yes. I say yes. I don't think anyone's gonna go and say your toe paste looks a different. Looks a bit different from, you know, mine. Unless both of you guys were wearing them at the same time. I mean, that's what I say. Uh, this is the fake. Uh, it says nothing inside the shoe tree. Uh, retail says die cut sock liner. Then we're gonna start delving deep into the details. It has all the typical things, you know, the you know the, the Air Jordan under the tongue, behind the tongue, upside down, and all that stuff. So, and of course, the stars are bigger on the fake, on the outsole. It's the same old, uh, same old things. You know what I mean? Just gonna take a look at the insole, see what's going going on with it, and then the inside of the shoe. So this is the fake insole. Take a look at that adhesive lines. Pretty good job. Legit, fake. You can just tell like the printing on the fake is a bit different. Take a look at that adhesive line and the color tone of the foam. There you go. Retail's at the bottom, fake is at the top. So if you're trying to legit check, that's one of the good ways to see. This is inside of the retail shoe. Take a look at the stitching and the curve in the back. That's for your heel, that's for the ball of your foot. This one has it, not as pronounced, but it does have it. Better than most that I've seen, but you can still see the difference with the curve from the back. Not bad. Transitional suede, transitional suede looks pretty good on the shoe. Construct, hey, you give it an A. Give it an A. Like I say, this was a hard shoe to replicate. Let me put this back in here. Let's take a look at the uh, air units. Um, it's the air unit on the fake pair. I'm gonna take a look at it myself first before I put it on camera. And I can honestly say the air unit is pretty clean. That air unit is pretty good. I say the outer unit, it looks better than the inside. Let's take a look at the uh, retail pair. I don't think this should be a problem with the retail pair. You see it is DS. Uh, while I'm at it, let's go ahead and read uh, the production date. VW1, 7.15.20 to 9.17.20. Wow, it's been that long. They had two years to basically get this shoe right. So we got here VW1, we got 8, 12, 20 to 10, 12, 20. Let's see if the dates are the same. Ooh. Yes, 8, 12, 20 to 10, 12, 20. So these are all the same. Boom, boom. Uh, of course, both shoes, they do not come with hang tags. There are certain factories that will still put hang tags on these shoes, no matter what. No matter what. And how, what was this one? 7.15.20 to 9.17.20. So these dates are completely, completely different. 7.15.20 to 8.17.20. Oh, yeah. I think there's a, a, a weight difference on these as well. Like I say, I think these are scaled a little bit larger. You know, depending on the factory, usually um, LJRs are smaller, H12s are bigger, and there's certain factories that have them just right, so. All right, let's put that in there. Let's, uh, it's not much to go through with these. 
let's go ahead and weigh these bad boys in black ladder and uh we'll put this video into an end and we'll close this video out all right hold on here zero it out here boom we're zeroed in all right one pound 6.2 ounces with the shoe tree One pound, 6.8 ounces with the shoe tree. One pound, 6.8 ounces with the shoe tree. One, one thing about the fakes, man. The fakes are always will be equal in, in weight. It's the retails that are kind of off most of the time. So we got one pound, six ounces. We'll do this again. One pound, 6.2 ounces. Close enough. Close enough. Six ounces heavier on the fakes no big deal let's black light these bad boys and we can shut this thing down and like i say let me know if you see things uh that i haven't caught but there's just clear differences right there all right we're gonna take a look at the legit pair yep we got all kind of stuff around here which you guys can see all right make sure there's no nothing else different here what else is glowing under that black light fake looks pretty clean there is no pin marks on the back under forgot to show you guys under the shoes here uh, retail is up top fake is at the bottom and yeah, you're not gonna see much with that. Pretty clean, pretty clean, I, I, I might say, I may say. Looking really, really good on the fakes. They've done an excellent job in cleaning these things up, taking the pen marks and all that stuff that you can't detect them under the black light. No, fact, no more factory stamps on these things. So it's pretty, pretty interesting uh how these fakes have come along so um i'm gonna uh conclude this video like comment share subscribe like i said i'll say it one more time if there's something uh that i didn't catch uh please put it in the comment section it'll be greatly appreciated it's your boy jake signing out man appreciate y'all peace